Hi there, thanks for joining in and welcome to Codebox. In this short tutorial, we will walk through a few simple examples of working with Ajax and PHP. To help you follow along, the code download is on the Codebox website. Link in the description box below. AJAX stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. In simple terms, calling a server-side script without reloading the page. For the first example, we will use AJAX to fetch HTML content and update the page. In the HTML, we will create an empty div to load the contents into. Do an Ajax fetch call to the PHP script. Return the result is plain text. Then, simply put the text into the HTML wrapper. Optionally, we can also handle errors. Add a finally block that will run regardless of success or failure. In the PHP script, we will just output some dummy HTML. Ajax is not just limited to fetching content, we can also use it to send data. In this example, we will use fetch to submit an HTML form. First, we will create the form as usual, but use JavaScript to handle the submission. Insert a dummy name and email field. In the JavaScript function, return false to prevent the default form submission. Then, get the HTML form. Create a new form data object, and pass the HTML form in. This way, JavaScript will automatically get the form fields and adapt the name value. Next, we do the usual fetch call, but attach the form data.
Lastly, process the submitted form data in the PHP script. But in this example, we will just simply echo the submitted form data. Combining both send and receive, we can use Ajax to create dynamic HTML pages. For this example, we will create a dummy pagination. First, add a drop-down selector. On changing the page, we will call a load function with the chosen page number. Then, insert the page numbers. Create an empty div to load the contents into. Define the JavaScript load function, with a page number parameter. Create a new form data object. Append the page number. Then, do a fetch call to the PHP script, along with the page number. Return the response as text. Put it into the HTML div. On window load, we will run the function to load the first page. Lastly, deal with the pagination in the PHP script. In this example, we will simply echo the page number. To send and receive arrays with Ajax fetch, a common way is to use JSON. In simple terms, turning an array into a string and vice versa. Let us start with sending an array to the server first. Create a form data object and array as usual. But before appending the array, use JSON stringify to turn it into a string. Then, do the usual fetch, and attach data to the body. On the PHP side, we will echo the post data. Take note that a string is being sent over. To turn the string into an array, we have to JSON decode it.
That is pretty much for sending an array. Now for the opposite of fetching an array. On the PHP server side, echo a JSON encoded string. Then in the JavaScript, return the results as JSON instead. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to learn more. See you in the next one.